Hello guys, welcome to the course Hotel Booking Application in Mernstack. So in this course, we are going to use React as our front end, Node.js as our back end, and MongoDB as our database. And we are going to build these full stack hotel booking application without Redux. That means without state management tool, we are going to build this complex application. And my name is Satya and I will be the instructor of this course. So without any late, let's see the demo of our project. Here you can see guys. So this is the demo of our project. So in the entire course, we are going to call this application as share rooms. So this is the hotel booking application or the room booking application. That's the reason I have named it as the share rooms. So at the top, we are having the navbar and this is the landing screen. If you refresh this page, you can able to observe the a beautiful animation in the landing screen. Here you can see this is the title of our application and this is the quotation. And if, if you click on this get started button, you will be navigated to the home page. So now I will click on this get started button. Here you can see this is the home page. So already you have observed the loading animation and at the top we are having the black color navbar. In the entire course we are going to use only two colors. That means we are not wasting our time in CSS. We are going to learn the logics in the Monstack in both React as well as the Node. That's the reason I have made the simplified CSS version. So we are going to use only two colors that is black and white. So apart from these two, we are not going to use any more colors. So at the top, we are having the navbar. At the top left, we are having our project title and at the top right, we are having the profile section. So if the user has logged in, it will show the logged in username. If the user has not logged in, it will show the login and registration buttons. So now I will click on the logout button. Here you can see this is the beautiful login screen. If you click on this, click here to register. This is the registration screens. Now I will log in with, mon, uh, with some user credentials. Shravan at the rate gmail.com and I will enter the password. Login. So if the user credentials are correct, again, it will goes to the landing screen with the updated navbar Shravan. So now you can click here, get started. So here you can see we got the updated navbar with the user credentials and bottom of the navbar. We are having the filter section in this filter section. We are having the three types of filters. The first one is the important filter in this application is date range filter because in no other application you are going to learn the date range filters only in the hotel booking application or the room booking application. You are going to learn about the date and date range filters. So this is the date range filter and this is the search filter and this is the type filter. We are having two types of rooms deluxe and non deluxe. So you can select deluxe rooms so here. You can see only deluxe. If you select non deluxe, you can able to see only non deluxe. And if you select all, you can able to see all rooms. You can also search rooms. So here I will search this keyword spot. Here you can see the search filter is also working. And this is the main important filter. This is the day, date range filter. So when you want to book an room, you have to first select the slot. That means check in date and check out date. So before booking the room, if you want to see the complete description and all the images, you just need to click on the view details. Here you can see this is the beautiful model pop up with the room description as well as the room carousel. So here you can see when you click on it, you can able to see the carousel. So for every room, we are having the three images. So for all the rooms, you are having this carousel. Here you can see how beautiful it is. So if you scroll down, you can able to see the room description as well. So when you want to book, you just need to select the date range, check in and check out. So here I want to book from 24 to 26. So it will gives us the available rooms which are present in the 24th to 26th slot. So here I am going to click this uh, OYO flagship book now button. Here also you can see the beautiful flip animation and this is the booking screen window. So here booking screen title and this is the main room and here the booking details name Shravan from date to date max count three. And this is the amount total days is equal to three rent per day 1500 total amount three days into 1500 is equal to 4500. So if you want to pay now, you just need to click on the pay now. 
so here you can see we are also going to integrate the stripe payment gateway so we can uh, pay our pay our amount online so here i am going to write details shravan at the rate gmail.com and i will write shravan uh, street is equal to something like this click on payment info here you can see amount is equal to 4500 all four twos and i will enter the details of my credit card one two three so pay now here you can see now you can able to see the loading animation loading and i got the alert pop up congrats your room has booked successfully now click on okay so it will takes us to the profile so this is the my profile name is equal to shravan email is equal to shravan at the rate gmail.com and we have the admin access is equal to no so if you open bookings you can able to see this is the booking screen window so the shravan has two bookings this is the present booked uh, item so 24th to 26th amount is equal to 4500 status is equal to confirm so after booking you can also cancel the booking if you need to cancel you just need to click on the cancel booking and if cancel events look like this status is equal to cancel so this is the profile section and we can control all our application data from the admin panel so in the url you just need to click the admin so this is the admin panel so in the admin panel you can control everything so these are the all bookings so these are all bookings for every booking we are have booking id user id room from date to date status so here you can see out of four booking one is cancelled and remaining three are booked state and this is the rooms all available rooms in our application so if you want to add a new room also you can add it so here you can see you can add the new room so these are all the details and here you can see for every room we are having three images so three image urls and you can also control all the users you can see all the users user id name email is admin everything etc so assume and trust me we are going to build this complex application without redux so we are not going to use any state management and we are going to write all the api operations in the pages and components only so this is the demo and at the end we are going to push this application to the github and we are going to host it on the heroku live server so what are you waiting for come join the course thank you